What is going on, Debt Free Mafia? Hey, welcome to today's video. Today, I wanted to spend just a little bit of time encouraging you on your debt free journey or your wealth building journey or whatever journey you're on when it comes to financial freedom. Uh, I want to talk just a little bit about that, a little bit about that, and what I've done in my past to keep myself motivated, and what I do with my clients to help keep them motivated as they try to hit their financial goals. Guys, if you don't know me, my name is Rick. I am a financial coach, and I'm the owner of the Debt Free Mafia. If you are interested in becoming financially bulletproof, if you're interested and having freedom, not only with your finances, but with your time because you're not tied down by payments or debt, this is the place for you. Go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the like button. I'd love for you to be a part of it. So glad that you're here. And today let's talk a little bit about that motivation again, because it can be really daunting because everything financially uh, in today's world doesn't really happen overnight. I know we hear all of the news articles of so-and-so bought Dogecoin or Shiba coin or uh, you know bought Bitcoin back in the day. I'm still kicking myself because I remember uh, wanting to buy Bitcoin when it was $25 a coin. Anyways, but we talk about all these people who became rich overnight, right? Uh, those are those are because those stories are very sexy, right? They're super sexy. Um, however, in most people's cases, especially those who do it the right way and buy the book, it takes a while. It takes a long while. If you know my story, um, I've got some other videos about my story, but our whole process of getting into a complete mess, going through bankruptcy and getting ourselves financially recovered from that and paying off the debt we were left with was like a six year process. So I'm first and foremost here to tell you whenever it comes to anything uh, with financial goals, it takes time. It's a slow cooker. It doesn't happen overnight, and I cannot preach patience enough uh, to you in this in this little uh, segment that we have today. Please, please, please be patient. But here's here's one of the biggest things that I recommend you do when it comes to having motivation uh, to continue making those payments and continue not eating out, continue not going on the vacations, continue uh, continuing not overspending on certain things. Because believe me, I, 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 I like to buy things. I'm a gift giver. I love to get gifts for people. Uh, and so that's one of the areas that's hard for me to be, you know, uh, uh, have discipline in, right? But here's what I want you to do. I want to focus on the why. Uh, this is a really big deal. When it comes to my clients, we talk about the why a lot. So what is it that is motivating you to want to make a change? Maybe you grew up in a household where there just wasn't a lot of money and you don't want your children to feel the way you felt. Maybe you remember, I've had clients who have talked about how they didn't have heat sometimes in the winter. It was just like it was, it was a luxury for them to be able to run the heater at night. Uh, maybe that's just something you don't want for your kids. Maybe you grew up in a small home and you don't want a small home, you want a bigger home. Uh, maybe the fact is that money was used in man manipulative ways and you don't want to be manipulative with it and give guilt trips or or uh, uh, have a scarcity mindset we talk a lot about that scarcity mindset basically meaning that uh, money's hard to come by and if it's hard to get by financially in this world no matter what uh, which we're against that here at the debt-free mafia but uh, we have an abundance mindset here and we talk about that so uh, but I, maybe that's something that you're wanting to implement in your family is the abundance mindset uh, maybe it's that you have uh, you know, a dream vacation that you'd love to go on. Maybe you're really wanting to travel Europe at some point in your life. Maybe you're really wanting to go on that really long cruise or be able to spend two weeks at Disney World, Disneyland, whatever it might be. Uh, there are so many different whys. And I think one of the, one of the uh, coolest ones that I've experienced with a lot of people is they wanted to be able to give uh, abundantly. Uh, being able to help people that are less fortunate than, than they are, be able to give the organizations that they want to give. I have a client who's very motivated by uh, an adoption agency for for stray dogs and, and stray animals. Uh, so she's able to now be able to give to that. So maybe that's what it is, but it's really focusing on that why. Keep asking yourself, you know, what do I want different about my life that I didn't have before? Or what do I want to provide to my kids and my grandkids uh, that, that I wasn't provided. What is that? So that why, it's very important that you write that down. Not only do I want you to write that down, I want you to write down five goals. Five goals that you're looking to achieve financially in your life. I would focus on a couple of them being within the next year. And then I'd focus on maybe one or two of them being in the next five years. And then I want you to have that, uh, that over the top goal that you really uh, think might might be uh, unfathomable. But I want you to write it down. The reason being is I do this with my clients. Statistically, goals that are written down and kept are more likely to be hit. So what we do is we go through this and I think you ought to put it somewhere where you can see them and go over them. 
Uh, maybe your goal is, you know what, in the next few years, maybe next five years even, you wanna be debt free. Um, and a big thing that I really recommend that you do is, is ask yourself this. When you wake up in the morning, ask yourself, hey, is future me five years from now, is it looking back on today and proud of the way I handled today so that I could provide the future that I want in five years? Ask yourself that. Is future me proud of what I did today? Uh, and that could be, you know what, we had some friends going on a really cool vacation and we really wanna go, but we could make an extra $2,000 payment instead on a student loan, or uh, we could get a little bit ahead on our, our home payments, or maybe you want to be a little more aggressive with your investing because you want to you retire at 50 and not 65. So you're sacrificing now to be able to put money then. What are those goals? Have them written down. Ask yourself, is future me proud of what I did today? Or is future me going to be proud of what I'm going to do today? Right. So that way you kind of have this mindset going forward of, hey, I've got to focus today because uh, the future is depending on it. My kids are depending on it. My spouse is depending on it. Uh, that my community is depending on it. That I'm smart uh, with my finances. And that's something I do. Something personally that I've done that I'm going to share with you guys uh, is in the past is I I have a dream of of having kind of that dream home. I really love having a home. Um, we're in a great house right now. It is absolutely perfect for what we need. Uh, but our goal is to have uh, maybe not so much a bigger home, maybe have just a couple extra uh, rooms because we would like to have maybe a few more kids. Uh, but the goal is to have some land because I was so fortunate to grow up uh, in a home that had uh, an acre. And uh, I know I spent a lot of time at the be beginning of the video talking about things you didn't grow up having, but maybe there's some things you did grow up having that you also want to provide to your kids. Uh, my my parents had an awesome home that was uh, had an acre. A lot of it was grass. I got to play outside. I loved being outside, and I want to be able to provide that for my kids. So I've had dream homes. That what I've done is when whenever every now and then I'll go look just for motivation and find a dream home, and it's way out of my price range right now, right? Uh, but I want to be able to get there. So what I do is I take uh, a screenshot of a picture excuse me, of that home. Um, for example, for a long time when we were paying off debt, I had I had a dream home uh, that came with some land and it was just, you know, it was just elegant on the inside. And it was a picture of the, of the living room looking into the kitchen, you know, it was sweet marble countertops, beautifully painted cabinets, uh, the furniture was really pretty. It had really, really tall ceilings. Uh, it looked out to a pool. I mean, it was a beautiful, beautiful home. And that, what I did is I printed that out and I stuck it to the wall next to my desk. Uh, anytime I was ever working on something and starting to feel just a little bit lazy or unmotivated, I would just look over and be like, you know what, I wanna provide that for my kids and my wife and, and be able to uh, provide that one day. So maybe that's something you need to do. Maybe you need to print that dream vacation. Maybe you need to put print that dream car. Maybe you wanna be able to uh, uh, put a picture of your kiddos there. Maybe that's motivation enough for you. Maybe you wanna see them graduate without student loans because it was a pain for you to pay off your student loans. I get it, but the biggest thing is making sure that we know our why. Why are we wanting to change all of this stuff? Why are we wanting to transform financially? Why are we wanting to be free? Uh, and that's a big one. Um, also, I'll let you know another big one for me is I just wanted freedom with my time. I didn't want to feel like I had to be at a nine to five job. Not, not that there's anything wrong with it. I'm not against that at all. But I wanted to be able to up and quit if something if, if something wasn't going well at work. There's a lot of you watching this that you can't just go and quit your job because then you wouldn't all of a sudden be able to make payments on stuff. And I'm not saying don't work. I'm just saying don't get stuck in a job that's toxic or isn't helpful or uh, is, is something that you're just dreading every Sunday, right? Uh, financial freedom provides you the opportunity to, to leave and spend some time looking for something else. Uh, so that's that might even be a goal for you. So um, I hope this was a little bit helpful. The biggest thing is remember your whys and write down those five goals. Let me know below what some of your goals are. I'd love to hear some of your financial goals. Guys, I'm so glad you stopped by again. We'd love for you to be a part of the Debt Free Mafia. Go ahead and hit subscribe to join. You don't have to be debt free to join, you just have to have that mindset, right? Uh, again, let me know below what your goals are. Hit the like button for me because it just helps out my channel so much. It's just a free way to support me uh, for all this free content uh, that I'm so grateful that you guys come and consume because uh, we, we've been growing and it's just been so awesome. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you again for stopping by. Uh, rooting for you, peace.